Hello, welcome back, Steve's Retirement Corner. All you can do is the best you can. Hey man, real quick before I get into this, I want to walk, uh, wish all the veterans out there happy uh, Veterans Day. I think it's a period of your life you really need to be proud of. I know you probably don't think too much about what you did. And uh, it don't mean a whole lot coming from somebody like me that has never, uh, never served. I got no idea what you went through or, or what you did. But I, I think it was, uh, it takes something real special to be able to put your name down on that piece of paper like you did. It's, uh, it's something, a quality I never had and there was, never was able to. And I, I actually have a, uh, a lot of respect for somebody that was able to do that. So I hope you have a, uh, an extremely good day. It's a special day just for you. And I personally think you deserve every second of it. But hey, man, all you can do is the best you can. Once you realize that, man, retirement ain't half bad at all, man. It ain't a hard thing to do. You know, average Steve like me, man, just can't get the scratch to cover every day on possibility that could happen out there, man. All I could do was try to reasonably plan for you know whatever I thought might pop up you know I actually had a good chance of popping up and try to cover that the best I can the rest of the time you know anything else to pop up I just have to deal with as I go you know you hear all that noise out there surrounding retirement before you go and you think man there ain't no dang on way I'll be able to go I mean if I had to wait on specific number or to do like they tell you to do, man, I never would have retired, man. I just didn't make the money. We just we just didn't have it. You know. We always tried to do what was right. You know, financially, you know, save a dollar, try to invest a little bit, live below your means, watch your debt levels, all that junk. You know, we weren't always able to do it, but we always kept trying to stay on track, you know. So, I mean, it, it, we did the best we could, and the rest of the stuff we just have to figure out as we go. That's why I always say it's a, a lot of stuff is a game time decision in retirement. And for me, it really is. I mean, from everything, from the time I get up in the morning, <laughs> what I do during the day, you know, or what we spend. You know, it's a... Uh, I, now don't get me wrong, man. Hey, man, we, I got a, a loose schedule and a, a plan for things. But uh, that's they're sort of like a speed limit sign, you know. It's a suggestion <laughs> to keep you from going too far off track. You know, what I have to do is I have to evaluate my situation at the time and make a decision from there, the best one I can. You know, it's... It, that's just the way it is, man. For me, anyways. For us. You know. I just, we just don't have the ability to cover every possible situation out there. You know? And I do most of the stuff because I'm scared. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's the re whole reason I started saving. We, uh... You know, I was the only one that worked outside the house. You know, I only one that brought in income in. So, I mean, I, if, if we didn't have, if we weren't able to save and live below our means, man, if I was ever lose my job, we'd have been in a world of hurt quick. So, yeah, I mean, that, that also played in the reason why I always had two jobs or more. In case one of them played out, we wouldn't be cut down to zero or in, a, in a heartbeat. I did what I could do, when I could do it and got lucky you know everybody's not made to uh don't have the same abilities uh, to have a high paying job or a trust fund everybody's not able to buy and sell real estate or pick the right stock or whatever man 
nobody bought the same house or had the same kind of job. There's no reason to believe that you can't retire on the way you are. I think it's highly important to control them finances, your debt and expenses, and you know, stick back as much as you possibly can. But all them naysayers about what you need to retire and stuff, man, I, you know, it's different for everybody. You might need that much, you might not. You might need a whole lot more. You know, but in the end, it actually just comes down to doing the best you can with what you got and, and, and you know, preparing the best you can for whatever you can and, and adjusting as you go along. Game time decision. You know, it's like when I, before I retired, I was thinking, hey man, I'll retire 65 and take my Social Security then. Well, once I retired, I, I, I'd moved it back to 67. And now, <laughs> I've, I've moved it to 68. But man, 20 to 30 years is a long time and nobody knows the future. You just, you don't know what you're gonna, life's gonna throw at you. You look at everything life threw at you up till now and how you was able to overcome it. How, you don't know. I have a guy I work with, um, I run into down at the park down there. He's always saying, man, so I look back, he's 80. So I look at back over my life, he says, and I'm thinking, man, did I really do all that? <laughs> he says, it's hard to believe. So I mean, from the next 20 years, you ain't got no idea what kind of, what life's gonna throw at you. You can only plan for so much, the rest of it, man, you just have to go off your experience, past experience, and and make out the best you can, just like you always did. So, but anyways, man, that's, that's my take on it. I don't know, man, but that's the way I go about it. Yeah. What got me thinking about this was that last week sometime I seen a video of a guy walking in a car lot. And he was reading the sticker prices on them cars and giving the estimate of how much the, uh, the payments would be on them things. It's outrageous, man. I mean, just outrageous. And I'm thinking, you know, probably sometime in the next 10, 7 to 10 years, I'm probably going to have to get me another vehicle. I'm just a young buck, man. I won't be 59 for another two months so you know all things going okay I should have to buy another one and I usually just take a loan out for it man that's what I do pay it for a couple of years get the balance down to a level I'm comfortable with and I pay it off it's hard for me to let go of that pile of money up front because the first thing I think about is if the air conditioning system goes out Hey man, then I gotta put come off that other fifteen grand or whatever, and then I'm out thirty grand instead of just fifteen. I do a lot of stuff out of fear, you know. But then I got to thinking, hey man, I might not even need another car by then. You know, ten more years from now, I'll be pushing seventy years old. I might not have a license. I might not be able to drive. I might not even be around, you know. It's just going to have to be a game time decision when the time comes. What I'm going to do. I don't know, man. I don't know. But that's what I was thinking. Of. That's what I got me thinking about this, man. But anyways, man, y'all take care, man. and uh, Y'all enjoy your week the best you can. and uh, We'll talk to y'all later.